Hi kids, it's Sister Fanny. And I'm trying something a little different today. Um, I usually give you a lesson and then an activity. I wanted to try something a little different. So I have my activity table set up as I, or as we talk about our lesson for today. So welcome to Refreshing Kids Online. And today our lesson is um, trusting God and because he's our provider. And so the first lesson is just going to be on the Lord is my shepherd. So before we get started, let's go ahead and do scripture and prayer. And then we'll be right back to finish our lesson and our project. Be right back. Today's scripture reading comes from Psalms 23 verses one through four. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Amen. Okay, kids, welcome back. So today, like I said, our lesson today is the Lord is my shepherd. So First, we want to talk about what is a shepherd? Okay, go ahead. So let's see. A shepherd for me, before I knew better, was a person that takes care of animals on a farm, pretty much, right? He herds sheep and cattle and all, all those different types of animals. So, but what about you? Are you cared for? Are you protected? Are you provided for? Yeah. So who does all that for you? That would be God. So that would make him a good shepherd because that's what a good shepherd does. He makes sure that what he cares about, he takes care of, he provides for, and he never leaves them behind. Speaking of never leaving behind, let's watch a quick video about a shepherd who loses just one sheep and see what he does. We'll be right back. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Jesus taught everyone about God's love. All kinds of people would come to hear Jesus speak, including tax collectors and people who made bad choices. This made the Pharisees and Jewish leaders mad. Ah, yuck. They didn't think that Jesus should be around these kind of people. Hmm. So Jesus told them this story. If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what will he do? You stay here. Won't he leave the 99 others and go to search for the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he's found it, hey, he will joyfully carry it home. When he gets home, he will call together his friends and neighbors saying, Oh, everyone, come here, come here. Celebrate with me because I have found my lost sheep. <laughs> in the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who returns to God than over 99 others who haven't strayed away. Okay, welcome back. I hope you like that story. So what did that story teach you though? Okay, yeah, me too. I felt that that one sheep was very, very important, just like the other 99. Some might say, well, you still have almost 100. Why don't you just care for that one or those 99 and let that one go? Well, God wouldn't do that to you. You know, if you were lost and, and your parents couldn't find you, would it be okay for your parents not to be good shepherds and come looking for you? I don't think so make you kind of sad and I think that they'd be sad too. So while we work on our project, I'm gonna let you know, we're gonna need construction paper, 
not much, okay, I promise. Um, glue and cotton balls, really, and some scissors, and most important, your handprint <laughs> or somebody's handprint. So again, talking about the good shepherd. So in this parable, and these are what Jesus calls small stories that um, were teachable moments or small lessons that he taught to the people that he spoke with. So to help them better understand. So to help us better understand how God is a good shepherd, the parable about the sheep and the man losing the sheep or the sheep being lost helps us better understand how important we are to God. So then you're gonna need your construction paper and don't laugh at my little face, but this is my handprint and this is gonna be my little face or a little face, but I'm gonna call it my little face because he's mine, okay. So then you're gonna cut out your handprint. Now, we talked about four things. We talked about God cares for us, protects us, provides for us, and never ever leaves us. Even when we're lost, he doesn't go anywhere. He comes, he's waiting for us until we come back. But it's the same as that shepherd going after his one sheep. God is always there for us. So on the back of my hand, I wrote those four things as a reminder of God being my good shepherd or a good shepherd over me. So now we are going to make sure we turn this the right way because uh, Sister Fanny made several mistakes <laughs> trying to make sure she had this activity for you. So we're just going to put a little glue. You guys love glue. Most kids do all over. And then after you put your glue on, since we're talking about sheep and shepherds, you know, and that's what the story was about. We're just going to make our own little sheep. I lost the cotton ball, but it's okay. So to make them a little bit more fluffy, I'm just going to pull them apart a little bit. I hope you can see what I did. I just stuck some glue on there on the back. And I'm just gonna put these cotton balls all over, okay? And that's what you're gonna, if you wanna do it, you know, Sister Fanny makes these little projects or she puts them together. Some, some I create, some I view other people's work. And so, and I just kind of put my own spin on it sometimes. <laughs> I think I spun this one a little bit. Um, and you just gonna take cotton balls. Now, I prefer to use white. You can use cotton balls. You can use popcorn. You can use whatever you want. You know, it's your sheet. You decorate it how you want. Um, the whole point is to keep that discussion going about God being a good shepherd. And this is just a reminder. Or it's, it's a fun reminder of what that looks like and feels like to you. Now, my little face that I had earlier, I'm going to take it. And make sure you orientate your hand the right way because Sister Fanny made some awful mistakes <laughs> trying to get this together. So this is mine's right here. And I'm gonna stick his little face right up there on that thumb. See him coming together? Okay, so, and I decided to use a white background this time. Don't, no other reason than that was my choice. So that's what I did. You choose the color that you want and you go from there. So in talking about the Good Shepherd, we wanna make sure we get that in. God is a good shepherd because he does what? He cares for us, right? Yes, he does. And what else? You tell me, right? He protects us, right? What else does he do? He provides for us, right? And what's one more thing that you can think of that we actually talked about? There are probably some other things that you could say, but those are the four things we're gonna leave here today with. He cares for us, good shepherd. He provides for us, he protects us, and he never leaves us. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this project and show you my finished product because this one's a little wet. So this is the finished product for today. Now on the back of this one, yeah, I know. <laughs> on the back of this one, I did not write because this is one of Sister Fanny's mistakes. She forgot to write it before she glued it. So she didn't think that was a good idea to redo that. So on this one, I made sure that I wrote, because I wanted to remember what a good shepherd does for me or what a good shepherd would do. And God does all of these things for us. So he is your shepherd. He takes care of you. And I want you to make sure you remember that. So every time you see a little sheep, you tell yourself, that all those four things that we talked about, God provides, 
for us, even when we don't know better. But hopefully when we learn better, we'll do better. Okay, so here's my finished sheep on this side. So I hope you guys like it. On this one, I drew little feet sort of. So you can do whatever you wanna do. Doesn't take much. And like I said, these are little activities just as reminders and for fun as well too. All right, you guys be blessed. I love you and I'll see you next time, okay? Bye, enjoy your day. We trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh.